Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. They say curiosity killed the cat, but in today's world curiosity can help you understand the cat. The internet provides a plethora of information to answer all of your burning questions, including those about your cat. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's answer some of Google's top cat questions. Number one, why do cats purr? One of the most unique and interesting behaviors that cats are known for is their purring. Most people are familiar with the soft rumble of a purr, but it is much less well known why cats do it. Research suggests that cats purr for a multitude of different reasons. They could purr when they are happy and relaxed, but they can also purr when they are stressed. According to a study published in the Journal of the Acoustical Society of America, cats purr at frequencies that are often associated with pain relief and healing, between 25 and 150 hertz. As such, it is suspected that cats purr when they are stressed or hurt as a self-soothing mechanism. Further, as purring requires very little energy, it may serve as a way for cats to strengthen or stimulate their bones and muscles while still conserving energy. While it is not fully understood why cats purr, scientists have a pretty good idea. It seems cats purr to self-soothe or as an expression of contentment. Number 2. Why do cats need? Kneading is another thought-provoking cat behavior as it is quite unusual at face value. Kneading is when cats will move their paws in a way that is resemblant of kneading bread. This behavior is beloved by cat guardians as it is undeniably adorable. But why do cats knead? Researchers at Oklahoma State University concluded that kneading is an innate behavior, meaning it is something that is learned or picked up. Cats instinctively know to knead, and this is likely due to its association with feeding. Kittens knead when they are feeding as a way to stimulate more milk. Even when a kitten grows up and no longer relies on their mother's milk for survival, the behavior often sticks around. This is known as neoteny, the phenomenon of juvenile features lasting into adulthood, and it is common in more species than just cats. When adult cats need, it often indicates comfort, happiness, and contentment. Cats will often need on their favorite places like a blanket, pillow, or even their human. Number 3. Why do cats sleep so much? There are plenty of things cats are known for, and one of them is sleeping. Cats are excellent sleepers, so much so that the common phrase catnap is named after them. If you have a cat, you probably know that at any given time there is a high probability that they are asleep. But why do cats sleep so much, and how much do they sleep? Most cats sleep between 12 and 18 hours every day, but they don't do so consecutively. Instead, cats will sleep for shorter periods throughout the day and night, typically around 1 to 2 hours at a time. Cats are crepuscular animals, meaning that they are most active at dusk and dawn, unlike humans who are diurnal, or most active during the day. Cats often sleep so much as a way to conserve energy. This traces back to their roots as wild animals, as they would often have to exert large amounts of energy in short bursts during their hunts. Even though domestic cats no longer have to hunt, they still have the sleeping habits of an animal who does. Number 4. Why do cats like boxes? Cats and boxes, boxes and cats. Their love story is one that almost all cat guardians are familiar with. Your cat has probably stolen empty boxes waiting to go out to the trash at least once. To understand why boxes are so appealing to cats, it is important to first understand how cats tend to react to the world around them. Cats like to have as much information as possible about their surroundings, and they tend to be very aware of potential threats. Cats are usually very concerned with their safety. Boxes provide a safe place to evaluate their surroundings, without being exposed to threats from behind. From the security of a box, a cat is guarded on their back and their sides. A study from the Journal of Applied Animal Behavior Science studied the emotional effects of boxes on cats and found that they provide cats with a lot of comfort. A group of 19 cats entering a shelter were divided into two random groups. One group was provided with boxes and the other group was not. Over 14 days, the cats that were given boxes were able to adapt much quicker to their new surroundings than the group that was not. Based on this information, the researchers suggested that boxes provide cats with a sense of safety and comfort. Aside from providing safe spaces, boxes also provide warmth. Cats may be drawn to boxes for their insulated qualities as well as the safety they provide. Number 5. Why do cats hate water? Cats' general aversion to water may seem confusing at first, especially considering their close relative, the tiger, loves water. But domestic cats have a pretty good reason for avoiding getting wet. Scientists have a few different theories about why cats hate water so much, but the most common explanation is that it can be dangerous for cats to have wet fur. Wet fur is not only uncomfortable for a cat, but it can pose a threat to their safety. Cats rely on their quickness and nimbleness to evade predators and catch prey. Wet fur is heavy and distracting, and therefore can have a significant impact on a cat's ability to run or chase. Additionally, since a cat's fur takes a long time to dry, wet fur puts a cat more at risk of the elements. 
A wet cat is much more likely to develop hypothermia than a dry cat. Even though domestic cats today do not face many of the same problems as their wild ancestors faced, hunting, being hunted, and the elements, their instincts to avoid getting wet remain. However, even though cats hate getting wet, they don't hate water itself. Many cats are fascinated by water, especially running water. Cats love watching water run or drip, as scientists think the movement of the water stimulates a cat's hunting instincts. Due to this, many cat guardians opt to get pet water fountains instead of water bowls to encourage their cats to drink more water. Number 6. Why do cats meow? The reason why cats meow is a highly debated topic in the cat community. Some researchers suggest that cats meow specifically to communicate with humans, while others argue that the behavior is only partially learned. There is evidence to support both claims, and research continues to be done to try to learn more about why cats meow. The first theory that cats meow specifically to communicate with humans suggests that cats have learned to meow to get the attention of humans. Some theories even suggest that a cat's meow mimics the sound of a baby's cry, a sound that gets a quick response from adult humans. However, it is much more likely that the meowing is an adaptive behavior rather than a learned behavior. First of all, cats do not just meow when communicating with humans. Though cat-to-cat -cat communication does not often involve meows, kitten-to-cat communication does. Kittens often meow to get the attention of their mother. Cats seem to have adapted this behavior to communicate with humans as well. Interestingly, just as cats have adapted their language to communicate with humans, humans have adapted their ears to listen to cats. A study conducted by the University of Milan found that cat guardians are excellent at deciphering between the different meanings of different sounding meows, but only the meows of their cat. It seems cat guardians are only well equipped to understand what their cat is trying to tell them rather than all cats in general. In this way, you and your cat have a secret language that only the two of you can understand. Number 7. Why do cats lick you? Cats often lick their owners as a sign of affection, as it mimics the way they would groom a fellow cat they care about. Grooming is very important to cats, as it is one of their most common behaviors. Cats spend a lot of time grooming their coats to keep them healthy and free of tangles or debris. Cats' tongues are even adapted to aid their grooming. A cat's tongue acts as a natural hairbrush, as it is coated in hundreds of tiny hook structures called papillae. According to research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, these tiny spines are very helpful in grooming fur as they catch on tangles. So it is clear that grooming is very important to cats. As such, cats use grooming to show affection and love. Cats will often groom other cats they are fond of, and they will even try to groom humans. Even though humans don't have fur, cats will often lick their humans as a way to strengthen their relationship. This behavior, called allo-grooming, is a key way that cats establish social bonds and communicate love. Number 8. Why do cats like catnip? Catnip is a common herb that is known for being beloved by cats. Most cats are very drawn to the scent of catnip, and they enjoy the effects that it has on them. Catnip contains an organic compound called nepotalcatone that triggers a euphoric reaction in the brain when it enters a cat's nose. As such, most cats love being around catnip. Common reactions to catnip include rubbing the head and body on the herb, rolling around, and vocalizing. Some cats may become hyper, while others will become more calm. Around 80% of cats are said to react when in the presence of catnip. Interestingly, kittens do not experience any reaction to catnip until they have reached sexual maturity at around 6 months old. This is likely because the chemical reaction in the brain to catnip is similar to a reaction to a cat pheromone. Dr. Ramona Turner, a veterinary specialist, describes this phenomenon as a cat reacting to an artificial cat pheromone. The effects of catnip are relatively short, typically only lasting around 10 minutes. Afterwards, cats experience a period of immunity to the effects of catnip for around 30 minutes. Number 9. Why do cats have whiskers? Whiskers play an important role in a cat's navigation of its world. They are incredibly fine-tuned to provide a cat with important information about its surroundings. Whiskers are quite sensitive and are used to transmit information about the world to the brain. They work as tactile sensors, similar to how human fingertips are very sensitive to touch. They can detect very small movements, even changes of vibration in the air. In some ways, they act as additional eyes for cats to see the world through. Cats also use their whiskers to determine whether or not they can fit into certain spaces, to keep their body in balance, and to communicate their emotions. As such, whiskers play an invaluable role in a cat's day-to-day -day life, keeping them safe from harm and aware of their surroundings. Now it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is Binks. His guardian says, Meet Binks. He was born from one of the stray cats I fed. Poor thing was the runt of the litter and had severe anxiety. But I'm his mama and he's so loving. He loves boops on his snoot and he will head bonk me when I say I love you. He's a great cuddler and always eases my nerves if I have a rough day. Truly the bestest boy. Congratulations, Binks. Keep being possum.
To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So which of these answers did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.